The following video is a true story. When I was a kid, I remember looking at the world map for the first time ever. And I remember when I first saw it, I was so disappointed. I was disappointed because look, the whole world has been explored. We know every single inch of New York City and every tiny island in the middle of the ocean. There is nothing left to explore. But over the past week, I decided to put my disappointment aside and visit one of the hardest, most remote places in the world. It's the kind of place you can't go by yourself. It's the kind of place that gets no tourists. But with the help of the International Red Cross, I was able to get to the heart of a country that is considered as one of the most undiscovered countries in the world to this date. And what I explored there, I hope it makes you think twice before looking at the world map again. Because this is the story of Papua New Guinea. On your first day there, you'll realize that people don't see tourists very often. So when they see you and you see them, I kid you not, it's an instant love story. This has never happened yes, before. Bro! Yes, bro! Something as simple as the way they recycle cans is unique. They collect the big bulky cans and dump them on the street. Then cars drive over the can and crush it. The person collects it, and the tribe recycles it. None of this is illegal, and all of this makes driving a car feel like you're helping the community. The way they wash their cars is also unique. Everywhere you go, you see water coming out of a hose. It is natural spring water that people turn into a car wash. You drive in, they clean you with fresh, spring, cold water, and you drive out without the machine, the wait time, nothing. It's amazing and it's really, really fun. My camera couldn't help but notice their looks. There are more than 800 tribes and 800 different looks. Some look scary like the mud men. Others look friendly like this one. You look nice. You look nice too. When I watched them celebrate their tradition and when they took me in as one of them, this is amazing. I honestly almost cried of happiness. This is a feeling that I didn't get anywhere else. All of this is the bright side of unexplored places that will never make the news and that, unfortunately, not many people care about. That's why I make these videos because they should care. Because this, this and this is actually objectively amazing. They also should care for what's bad in these countries too. The tribal warfare that still exists, the burned down airplanes, the burned down homes, and the destroyed lives of the most vulnerable still exist today. That's why organizations like the International Red Cross are exactly there to help, to go to the middle of nowhere and rebuild destroyed clinics. supply entire schools with water and to give building materials to those that have been left with nothing. I love you guys coming in my country. This is my solidarity. This is my soul. I love my community. I love my family. I love my strawberries. I love my water. I love my peasant food. I love my Papua New Guinea. <laughs> New Guinea, New Guinea, say right! Papua New Guinea! Just a week before this, I had no idea where Papua New Guinea is and honestly, didn't have much interest. But when I found myself in the middle of it all, I realized the world map is just that! A map! And that the actual world has a lot of places left to explore and a lot of people left to help.